boats, boats, boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. If you love your fishing, you're gonna love this 481 Quintrex Hornet Trophy. But before we even take it out in the water, it's worthwhile having a look at the trailers because it's important that you get your boat from A to B before you even get to the water. The trailers come with the aluminium I-beam. They're bolted together, so that gives you a bit of a flex rather than weld. But what I like about these trailers is they guide your boat in so you're not knocking your boat around when it's coming onto the trailer. And plenty of tie-down straps because it doesn't take much of a roundabout or a curb to clip one wheel and you can throw your boat. So we've got the tie-downs at the transom here. Tie-down points either side of the mudguard so you can run the big straps over. And of course the trailer this size has brakes so when you slow down the trailer and boat are stopping as well. So let's put her in the water and see how she goes. As with any boat, it's often a balance between the length of the boat, the size of the motor and what you're going to do most. This boat's got heaps of storage room, so that means it's going to be loaded up with gear, whether it's fishing tackle, camping gear or just bodies. So it's important that you get enough horsepower to get that boat up, up on the plane, or you don't have too little that it really struggles. And again, you don't want to overgun it and have a big, heavy lump of a motor just sitting on the back. So the 80 horsepower, I've been playing around with this for a while, the 80 horsepower four-stroke Yamaha seems like it's uh, just the right match for this. It's got plenty of punch and you can knock back the revs when you get up to up onto the, uh, the plane. Considering too that weight, so once you get the weight in there you won't have to work the motor too hard to keep it up and going. So as I power up you watch how quickly she gets up onto the plane. You can see I get up there very quick and very easily then just knock it back. I'm just sitting on about 3600 RPM now, doing just over 30 kilometres an hour. Trim the motor up. Just find that comfortable planing speed. When you can sit on those revs between, say, low 300s to 400, that's the most economical. Sure, you can get up around 5, 6, 5, 8 on some of these four strokes. You find that nice cruising speed and you don't do too much fuel. It handles nice too, it sits nice and flat. Not that you're going to throw the boat around a lot, but sometimes you need to move around structure or going through coastal bars. So it's good to be able to have that manoeuvrability and good viewing. For the console, we've got everything right here in front of us. Somewhere to dry to keep your phone, your sunglasses, car keys, your gauges right here, radio, and of course, the brain's trust for trying to find the fish, GPS and sounder. First impressions are often what grabs you about a boat. And when I sat down here, I couldn't help but notice the absolute massive storage area. So there's no excuse to have anything on the floor. Everything can kept, be kept under the, uh, the front casting platform and this area here. When you open up, we'll have a look at it in a sec, the room in there is immense. It actually quite blew me away. That front area, they've actually brought the casting platform back, so you've got all your standard storages for your anchor and, and your like, but back here there's one big storage area, which for me that means all my camping gear can go in it, so it's nice and dry, and I can come to a place like this that's quiet, set up camp, and uh, then head out fishing. You can obviously get up here and, uh, and do your casting or sit there and fish out the back. But when you have a look what's in here, there we've got our battery isolation switch, battery, fuel filter. And there's still more room in there to, to throw your tools and other bits and pieces that you, you might want to keep for safety gear. In the centre here, plumbed live fish well so you can pump your water in and out or live bait tank. And this one here, is just empty. You don't really need an extra fuel tank in this boat because there's nearly 100 litres of fuel under the floor, so that's, that's plenty of fuel. But that's just massive storage in there. I reckon I could just about get in there myself. But if you think that one's big, have a, have a go at this one up the front. This section here is really what I think is the added extra for that big storage. And the beauty of it is, sure you can open it in the centre here, but you can also get things in and out the sides, depending on what you want. Uh, that's just one big storage locker across the front. You can see there we've got our extra battery, room for two batteries in there for your big Minn Kota electric motor. And your anchor storage goes in under there. 
So when you look at the bow of the boat, it actually looks like they've cut some out of the front, but they haven't really. The sides have been extended around so you've got somewhere to mount your electric motor, so there's no worries about adding the extra plate. And it gives you a little bit more room to stand and fish, but you can see great big area to stand and cast from. Plenty of room to move around in. You've got your various seating positions and a heap of storage at the back. So you can just move your weight around to get the boat, the most of the, uh, the load for the ride. And there's no excuse for leaving your expensive fishing rods lying around the deck where they can get stood on. In here we've got a fully lined rod locker. Four rods can mount in there, a couple lay along the bottom and it goes right up around the sides there so you can slip in a seven foot rod, no problems whatsoever. Also keep our light there for, uh, for anchoring at night. Plenty of room in there. It's rated to a maximum horsepower of 90. Now, 90's heaps of horsepower. Actually, the 80's more, more than adequate, especially in the four stroke. They're a lot zippier than, than uh, when they first come out years and years ago. So gone are the days where you think four strokes are sluggish. They're not. They're very zippy, give good fuel economy and good performance. And in this case, the 80 is pretty well perfect for this rig. The hydraulic steering makes it nice and easy so you're not labouring to turn left or right. Also, you're not battling to hold the, uh, the motor straight while you're going along. The hydraulic steering just allows you to drive comfortably, a bit like the power steering on your car, and not the, real, the, the steering wheel won't spin out of your hands. If you'd like to have a look at this rig or any other in the Quintrex Hornet range or Yamaha outboard, drop in and see the boys at Brisbane Yamaha or give them a call. I'm Aaron Goodchild, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And you would have seen Brisbane Yamaha from the highway as you drive past. But there's a whole lot more that happens here behind the gates. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to run you through Brisbane Yamaha to have a look at our huge range of Quintrex boats on display. Baseports, the most popular fiberglass boat in Queensland. We have a massive range of used boats, used outboards, and obviously we're famous for being the largest Yamaha dealer in Australia. We've also got a massive chandlery with a full display of Yamaha accessories. We have in-house finance, a dedicated sales team who will find the right boat for you. We'll then run through into the workshop. We have state-of-the-art workshop with eight mechanics. We have our in-house trim shop. Anything you need to do with a boat, Brisbane ha Yamaha does it in-house. As you walk into the yard, you'll notice a, a huge ocean of boats. We have the full range of Quintrex. Quintrex is the largest selling aluminium boat in Australia. Quintrex are known for their quality. They're known as being the finest aluminium boat built in Australia. And Brisbane Yamaha is very proud to sell them. We're Australia's largest selling dealer. We have the full range on display. Whether you're a caravaner looking for a car topper, a first time boatie looking for a tinny, a family looking for a runabout, a bow rider, maybe you're a fisherman and want a top ender, or the ever popular Triton range of half cabins. We have them on display, ready for you to have a look at. If you're looking for a fiberglass boat, Brisbane Yamaha is the sole distributor for Queensland for Baseport boats. Baseport is the biggest selling fiberglass boat brand in Queensland for a reason. Fantastic ride, built in Queensland in Noosa for Queensland conditions, and incredible value. Brisbane Yamaha has the full range on display, from the five metre runabout to the 6.4 offshore weapon. Within the, within the baseport range, there is a boat to suit your family and your budget. From whether this 585 weekender that comes fully equipped to sleep overnight, go and spend the weekend at Tangaluma, fantastic time with your family. Brisbane Yamaha has the full range on display. If you're looking for a fiberglass boat, do yourself a favour and come and have a look at the range. And if a new boat's not to your fancy and you're looking for a second hand boat, we have a massive range of used boats. You've probably heard us on the radio. We buy boats, only quality, we test them in our workshop and we supply warranty on them for your peace of mind. If you're looking for any sort of used boat from a couple of thousand dollar tinny through to a hundred thousand dollar mega ship, we'll have it here at Brisbane Yamaha. Brisbane Yamaha is the largest selling Yamaha dealer in Australia, but we also carry a large range 
of quality tested used outboards. Brisbane Yamaha is famous for its Yamaha sales. We're the biggest Yamaha dealer in Australia. We have a 300 Yamahas in stock. We already have your Yamaha. We have a full display of Yamaha outboards from the ever popular portable range, two stroke or four stroke, up to big V6s. We also have the full range of Yamaha accessories in rigging, gauges, control boxes, props. We have the full range of Yamaha accessories, life jackets, cow covers. We have oils and sprays. We also have a full range of electronics that we've chosen that, and we consider the best in the market. We also have a large range of parts. If you're looking for a genuine Yamaha part, come and see us. Mark, our parts interpreters, over 25 years of experience. If you're looking for electronics or you're looking for a Yamaha part, Mark's the man to find it for you. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats, and one of the reasons we know boats is because of our highly trained, highly experienced sales staff. Peter has over 20 years of selling boats. Justin set an Australian record and sold over 400 Yamahas last year. And Paul McNaught has been around the boating industry for longer than he wants to admit. We have over five salesmen here, plus some part-timers. Whatever boat you're looking at, whatever the application, how it's going to affect your family, our sales team can find you the right boat for your lifestyle. And if you're interested in finance, Brisbane Yamaha are the largest YMF dealers in Australia because we have the best business manager in the, in the business, Bill Catling. With over 30 years experience, Bill Catling will get you in that boat sooner. Brisbane Yamaha has a state-of-the-art workshop. We have eight technicians. We can repair and service any brand of outboard. And yes, we have computer program to look inside and, and check your ECUs. Whether you're servicing an outboard or whether you're running a repair or adding an accessory, Brisbane Yamaha is the place to bring your boat. You've heard me talk about the quality of Brisbane Yamaha boats. One of the reasons and what sets Brisbane Yamaha apart from our competitors is we have an in-house trim shop. That means we make biminis, canopies, in-house. We can renovate your used boat. We can add a bimini to a new boat. In fact, anything to do with trim, we do in-house. And we only use the highest quality materials. Our trimmers, have years of experience. So I can guarantee to you that you will get the best job possible and you'll save. A recent change at Brisbane Yamaha has been the introduction of our drive-in, drive-out service centre. So the next time you need a service, simply drive up Brewer Street and drive straight into the yard. One of our staff will meet you, discuss your requirements. So the next time you need a service, call Matt because by the looks of his qualifications, Matt knows boats. So next time you're travelling down the highway and you see Brisbane Yamaha, take the time and drop in. We've got the whole range of Yamaha. We've got the whole range of Quintrex, large and small, used boats, outboards new and used. We'll service your boat, we'll repair your boat, we'll trim your boat. In fact, if it's got to do with boating, Brisbane Yamaha.